spoiler warning for anyone who hasn't seen the show, go watch the show. It's right here on YouTube on the Glitch channel. It is now officially March, which means it is technically spring. If you didn't know, Glitch, the producers of Murder Drones, released a sneak peek along with sneak peek photos, also saying that the Murder Drones episodes 7 and 8 will be coming out in spring. Today, I will be analyzing and theorizing about these photos and the sneak peek they gave us. I do know I'm a bit late to the party, but considering this channel started not a few weeks ago, I think I just need something to fall back on when the episodes do come out and I inevitably theorize about those. In case you haven't seen the sneak peek, I'll give a quick summary on what it includes. The video starts off with a quick flash of previous scenes from the past six episodes. In the middle of the montage, we get a new line of dialogue from the Absolute Solver slash Sim. <laughs> Thanks for giving me the planet, freaking idiot. The montage continues, and after the montage, we only get about 15 seconds of new scenes. There's an ominous zoom in on a hole in the wall that has something coating the outside. We get a wide shot of N and Uzi running and embracing each other, and Uzi starts crying. Then a few scenes flash across the screen really quickly, such as N being pulled in that hole from earlier by some Eldridge J Absolute Solver hand, Tessa slamming a door closed with Nori, Uzi's mom, on it. It, along with the numbers 002, which are also associated with Nori. We cut back to a scene that was from the pilot where the planet's core explodes. It then cuts to a scene that shows Uzi and N looking off in the distance worriedly. Uzi's hands lights are yellow in this scene. Finally, we get to the infamous scene where Uzi crushes N's hand with her hand lights still purple. Title screen, release date, done. Now on to the photos. The first one is of Nori and Yiva, Doll's mom, standing in a doorway with ominous light behind them. The other picture is of N looking down dejectedly on the surface of the planet. All of these things I took into account and I put together a theory on how Murder Drones will end and will hopefully set up a season 2. The first photo is probably a flashback since we literally saw Yeva's body ain't no way she's coming back. The photo I'm going to pay the most attention to is of N looking down depressingly. I mean, look at that man. That man is depressed. He went through something. I doubt it's because of V's sacrifice, however, because he's on the surface, which also means that he's sad even after he made it out of cabin fever labs. This probably also disproves the theory that just everyone dies, so that's kind of cool. So what would N be so depressed about? Maybe it's something to do with Uzi, you know, his new girlfriend and whatever, who happens to be slowly being corrupted by the Absolute Solver, who we also saw crushed his hand at the end of of the sneak peek video but you know it's just a random thought i already got all the information i needed in a previous video from the sneak peek so if you want to see that i'll briefly put it up screen but after this video definitely go check it out because i make some really good points and some of the stuff in this video i'm about to mention comes from that video and if you think it doesn't make sense then i definitely recommend that video for you to check out but just so you know the main takeaway from part of that video it's that uzi probably will find out that n killed her mom and freaks out and crushes his hand now before i explain this this entire theory this video has been leading up to, I do have one thing to address. I found this one photo online that was supposedly drawn by Liam Vickers, the creator of Murder Drones himself, and although I have every single reason to include this in my theory considering it supports it, I'm not going to because I have no idea whether it actually was made by Liam Vickers himself. If you're liking the video so far and you want me to make more Murder Drones content, consider subscribing because this is kind of a new channel and you need to know what content to make. Anyway, so what's going to happen in episodes 7 and 8? Well, I think episode 7 is is going to start out with a flashback between Nori and Yiva, considering that's also what they technically kind of did in episode 6, so I don't think they're just going to immediately plop us straight into the free-falling elevator scene or whatever. N and Uzi will probably be distracted by V's sacrifice, distraught and sad and whatever, while Tessa is trying to get them to move along and try to get things under control. Now it's kind of hard to say what happens for the rest of episode 7, but I'm guessing it might end with Uzi finding out about how N might have to kill her to save the universe. Uzi will run off map while N runs after her trying to calm her down while Tessa goes off investigating. Tessa will find evidence or recordings or something that tips her off that N killed Uzi's mom and thinking this will be the perfect thing to drive N and Uzi apart, forcing N to kill Uzi, she runs back to try to tell them the news. Uzi and N will find each other and reconcile, but Tessa barges in and spills the news. Uzi, who has probably been having short episodes of Absolute Solver takeovers, will fully give in to her powers and attack N with all her power. She crushes N's hand and they start fighting. N somehow gets the upper hand and has a chance to kill her and tries, but for some reason he physically can't, like he shoots like a laser at her and hearts come out like in episode one credit to vanity moth for this part of the theory 
that's when the absolute solver will take full control over uzi and we'll hear that voice line we got in the sneak peek Ben and tessa bring down uzi and snap her out of her absolute solver possession thing but uzi still remembering the fact that n was willing to kill her becomes depressed and leaves this obviously makes N depressed and he runs off as well, which leaves Tessa and Jay to fix everything along with bringing down Sin for good in Season 2. Now I know this kind of sounds depressing and we probably won't get a Season 2 of Murder Drones for a while, maybe not even a Season 2 at all, but we still have to hold out hope and create theories that can build a Season 2 of the show. Now remember, this is just a theory, so don't be surprised if I'm proven wrong in the first seconds of Episode 7 starting. Anyway, that's basically all I really have to say about Murder Drones until the next episodes come out, so stay tuned for my breakdown videos on those episodes and I'll see you next time.